This is the modern evolution of the British pub. The Great British Pub is one of the wonders of the world. You've got Stonehenge, the pyramids, Big Ben, and then this, a beautiful British countryside pub. We're here at St. Ives at the Oliver Cromwell. A few rumors flying around, but the food's half decent. Let's go and have a look. Right, so we're inside. It looks absolutely stunning there. I used to come in here before it was renovated and it was quite an oldie woldy English little pub. A little bit run down, but still had a lot of character and they've done a lot of work to it. There's a fine line between doing too much and losing that important character. I think they've absolutely nailed it. As you can probably see now, it's got an amazing looking bar. Uh, and there's a really nice energy about the place, which is very important. Now, the menu, quite extensive. Small plates, sandwiches, mains, burgers, sweet treats, everything you want when you're having a beer at the pub. Holy smokes, I was expecting good food, but this is crazy. This is, Callum, the trio teriyaki double duck. But I think I've actually got duck three ways on here. So, I don't know if you can see that, Callum. We've got a, a duck nigiri sort of like sushi there, teriyaki duck there, sticky rice or jasmine rice underneath, and a duck again. This is not normal pub food. Plain and simple. And I've also gone for a little, what are they called? Brisket, croquettes? Yeah. Brisket. With a whiskey mayo. Yes. Come and have a look. Good, yeah, try that. So it should have beef brisket inside. Oh my God. That whiskey mayo is sweet. It's like warmth to it. This croquette is smooth with that beef running through it. Really crisp, out of golden. My God. That is delicious. Do you know what I think about this? I think some people at home are going to think to themselves, God, that looks fancy for pub food. And actually the menu had a wide variety of all different things from regular burgers to regular plates to special pieces of kit like this. Catering for everyone. This is the modern evolution of the British pub. Atmosphere kept everything good about it and they're attracting the foodies. I think this should be delicious. Excuse fingers. Callum, let's go. Come on. That is absolutely delicious. I think this is the most exciting part now, mate. Let's cut into this duck. Here we go, ready? Oh my God. That duck! Fantastic. This really isn't normal food. Stunning. That classic stunning teriyaki flavour. Throughout the meat, incredibly tender. That's literally, it's falling off. I love duck. I haven't had it for ages. What a touch. Now we've got the duck on the other side. This is my third version of duck. Come on. It's just really, really good. Just on that rice. We really should be celebrating places like this. That is exquisite not your typical pub food not your typical flavors bravo to everyone involved in the creation of that dish 
and the rest of the menu. Very, very nice indeed. Callum, we need to give this a score. We haven't done much pub food. The typical pub food is, yeah, a little bit basic sometimes, but nailing good ingredients in a simplified way hits the spot in a pub. I think they're on a different, on a different league. What do you guys think at home? I'm really interested to hear your thoughts on that. But for me, this is top draw. That plate of food there and the croquettes, you can start to feel, you start to see the intent from the kitchen, the whiskey mayo, that light, fluffy croquette put together like that. Sensational. And then you get this duck done three ways on the plate. We've got hints, we've got clues there that they want to be better, they want to do more than that regular pub. And that's potentially, that's what left so many pubs in the past closing, they haven't adapted. Not only are they going to get the drinkers, the locals that want to come to a great pub, but now they're going to get the foodies, and the foodies are going to have a drink. They're going to bring their friends, they're going to bring their family. Great intent. I love it. Is this the future of the British pub? Quite possibly. I'm going to give these a, a big, fat, sexy 9 out of 10. Delicious food. Loved everything about it. Great looking pub. I hope you've enjoyed it. The Ollie Cromwell and St Ives in my town. Great to be doing one back on the local scene again, which is wicked, having to not travel. I think this plate of food, this pub, deserves every inch of our exposure train. Thanks for watching everyone. For myself and Callum behind the camera, that's a review. People licking your lips, checking the dips. Uh, we're checking out the best of the bunch. So you can get your best breakfast, dinner, or lunch. It's Matt D and Jess coming with a food review. We've been traveling, trying to find the best foods for you. Yeah, now that's a review.